Hey guys, welcome back for another one. Today we're going to be looking at another skill from the ACT, percents. This is actually on the SAT and the ACT, so I have sprinkled in a few SAT questions to spice things up. Let's take a look at some of these questions. We'll start with the easy ones and go to the hard ones. The first one that we can look at is from an ACT, really number 21. As you can see, it says, to get a driver's license, an applicant must pass a written test and a driving test. Past records show that 80% of the applicants pass the written test and 60% of those who have passed the written test pass the driving test. Based on these figures, how many applicants in a random group of 1,000 applicants would you expect to get driver's licenses? So again, it's 60% of 80%. In that case, how would you do a question like this? Really, it's 0.8 of 1,000 times 0.6 of 1,000 or 0 0.6 of that, right? 0 0.6 of 0 0.8 of 1,000. In that case, what is our final answer really? Without a calculator, six times eight is 48. So we have 0.48 times 1,000, essentially 480. I really like the answer of B here. That's number 21 from an ACT, not too bad. I'm gonna come over here to number 25 from an ACT. And again, we're not towards the end of the test yet. These shouldn't be too, too difficult. Let's read. It says, last month, Lucy, blah, blah, blah. The category in which Lucy's expenditures were greatest is what percent of her total expenditures to the nearest percent? Hmm, I don't really understand that, but I think it's saying which one of these is her biggest expenditure? Well, it's definitely close, but how would you find the percent here? It would be 254 over 900. When you do that, you should get probably 0.28 and really 0.28 is what? It's 28% B. All right, that was number 25 from an ACT. Notice those aren't too, too bad yet. We will get down to some harder ones now. So let's take a look at this question over here on the left-hand side. This is actually coming to us from an SAT. So how would this question work? Well, it says a book was on sale for 40% off its original price. If the sale price of the book was $18, what was the original price of the book? Wow, well, this one is hard. I have a lot of students that get this one wrong. But the first thing that I would suggest is just common sense. If the sale price of the book was $18, was the original more expensive or less expensive? More expensive. How could it be A or B? How could it be A or B? A and B are trash. And even more than that, if you're pretty logical, if you're pretty smart, you'd see that D actually makes no sense either. Really, D makes no sense because if something is 40% off, you're still paying 60% of it. How could it be more than double? Really, doubling 80, 18 would get you to 36. How could it be more than 36? It wouldn't be. D is not good. But let me show you the real math behind this question. How do we find the actual answer? Really, I'm hinting at it, it's already C, you know that. How would I do this question? Well, remember that if something is 40% off, how much is it on? I'll say that again. If something is 40% off, how much is it on? 60%, really 0.6 of X equals 18. I'll say that one more time. Really 0.6, really 60% is how much you paid of the original. And that price was 18. In that case, how do I get rid of that 0.6? How do I get this X alone? Of course, just divide both sides by 0.6. This is actually on the non-calculator section of the SAT, so you should recognize that 6 goes into 18 how many times? Three times. I really like C. So that is good for an SAT non-calculator question. I want to show you that that's relevant for the ACT as well with this question down here. Take a stab at number 45 now. It says, a shirt has a sale price of $30.40, which is 20% off the original price. How much less than the original price is the sale price? Interesting. Very, very similar to what we had just done, right? So how would I do a question like this? Well, remember, if something is 20% off, how much is it on? <clears throat> if something is 20% off, it's 80% on. So really, I have 0.8 of the original equals 30, 40. From there, when you divide both sides by 0.8, you end up with the answer of $38. And well, 
while $38 is the original price, how much off was it? How much less was it than the original? It's the really 38 minus 3040 gives you 760. Our answer is D. We'll move along to our last two questions. And really, these are some of the harder ones. The last two hardest questions here include this one. This is a number 60 from an ACT. Really, they think that this is the hardest question on the ACT, but not for us. This is easy. Let's take a look. It says, the sale price of a jacket is 10% off the original. The clearance price of the jacket is 30% off the sale price. And the clearance price is what percent off the original price? And I know that that's a lot of language, but again, it kind of alludes back to the question we did up here with that driver's license question where it was 60% of 80% of a thousand. Very similar. It's 10% off of 30% off. So watch this. Remember, if 10% is off, how much is on? 90. Really, we have 0.9 of X. Okay. And then from there, you go up to the cash register and you're like, excuse me, ma'am, I have a 30% off coupon. If I have a 30% off coupon, now how much are you paying? Well, if something is 30% off, it's 70% on. 70% on. From there, 0 0.7 times 0 0.9 is 0.63x. And at the end of the day, if you've paid 0.63x, how much have you not paid? How much have you saved? Really, it says, what percent off was this? It was D, 37% off. Really, 1 minus 0.63 is equal to 0.37. That one's one of the harder ones, so please um, take a second to catch on to that. Of course, um, leave a comment in the description if you uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. But if not, we'll move to our last question of the day, and it's between Ken and Paul. A hot date between Ken and Paul. Looks like they're going to lunch. It says, Ken and Paul each ordered a sandwich at a restaurant. The price of Ken's sandwich was X dollars and the price of Paul's sandwich was $1 more than the price of Ken's sandwich. That's really important. If Ken and Paul split the cost evenly and each paid a 20% tip, which of the following expressions represents the amount in dollars each of them paid? Well, let's take a look. First of all, if Ken's sandwich was X and Paul's sandwich was X plus one, how much was their sandwich together or how much were their sandwiches together? The order was 2x plus 1, really just adding between those two. Now, you can understand that there's a 20% tip, and what I always ask is, are you happy when you're tipping or are you sad? In other words, should the price be going up or should the price be going down? The price is going up, I'm kind of sad. In that case, it's not off like the previous questions. All the previous questions were off. 20% off was 80% on, but now it's 20% up. What's up 20%? 1.2. And at that point, what you can understand is that this 1.2 will be hitting here and here. We have 2.4x plus 1.2. And before you just choose answer choice D, remember, is this a hot date between Ken and Paul? Is Ken taking Paul out for Valentine's Day? I don't think so. I think that they're going to be splitting the cost of the sandwich. Maybe they're just friends. In that case, I'm going to kind of split this in half. And what would this be split in half? Well, it would be 1.2x plus 0.6. Boys and girls, our answer here is C. This is a tough one from an SAT non-calculator question, but very relevant for the ACT as well. All right. Well, if you have any uh, questions on any of these, please, like I said before, leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys on another one.